Hello everyone, a very happy 2020 to you all. This is Shiva Charles from City Light Church, Chandigarh, and I would like to welcome you to Spiritual Morsels. The reason why I'm coming to you through this video is uh, most of us are good at taking care of our mortal bodies. You know, the reason why I'm specifying mortal here is because the Bible says, from dust you have come and to dust you will return. But how often do we take care of our inner man? our spirit, the real you and the real me. So God put in my heart to come to you through this video to share a few morsels from the Word of God. You know, towards the end of 2019, I had to go through some tough times. Our daughter um, fell sick and she was very sick. She couldn't uh, breathe for almost a week. She struggled to breathe. And during that time, she started bleeding from her nose and the doctors had to run a few tests on her and the blood reports when they came i was holding the reports and my heart sank you know i felt like i was i was very troubled i was very worried i couldn't pray i just couldn't take this matter to the lord i i was kind of blinded by my situation and towards the end of the day i heard god speaking to me in my heart what does the word say? He said, my child, uh, your situation is telling you something. Your child's sickness is telling you something. Your mind is telling you something. But what does my word say about the situation in your life? And I started repeating to myself, what does the word say? What does the word say? And suddenly, Isaiah 54, 17 came into my heart. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper now who is this forming these weapons against me who is aiming weapons against me and then i read isaiah 54 16 the later part of 16 if you read there it says that and it is i who have created the destroyer to wreak havoc you know the lord is saying my father my Abba father is looking at me and telling me my child i have created you and it is i who have created Satan and his entire demonic force who is trying to harm you. If he has to harm you, if he has to touch you, he has to touch me first. That's what my father is saying because in Zechariah 2.8 it says, He who touches you touches the apple of my eye. And then, and, uh, you know, he says he cannot, my God, God is looking at you and me and telling us that, you know, Satan cannot touch you. Because if he has to touch you, he has to touch me first. In Isaiah 49, 16, he says, I have engraved you in the palm of my hand. It's so beautiful. It doesn't say I have engraved your picture. It says I have engraved you in the palm of my hand. And to, you know, just to understand this part, I just want to show you a picture. Just have a look at this picture. Um, this is one of our old family photos and it's engraved on a piece of wood. Um, you know, if I have to destroy this picture, I cannot uh, remove this picture from this piece of wood by rubbing it. If I wash this piece of wood, it won't go. Even if I apply a coat of paint over it, the picture will still remain on this piece of wood because it has been engraved into the wood. The only way I can destroy this picture is by destroying this piece of wood. Either I have to crush this piece of wood or I have to burn it. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. You know, the Lord is looking at you and me and saying, My child, I have engraved you in the palm of my hand. If the devil has to touch you, he has to touch me first. Hallelujah. Let us enter into this new year with this hope and faith in this protection. We may have to face valleys and shadows in our lives during this coming 2020. But... We can be rest assured that if we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. We shall rest in the shadow of the Almighty. God bless you.